Spring Watch is back on BBC Two and also here on Midlands Today. All this week, our environment correspondent David Gregory and his team will be bringing you the very best wildlife stories from around the region. So, David, what are you starting with? Well, Nick, our base should give you a bit of a clue of the theme for this year's Spring Watch. We're at the brand new Science Garden here at Think Tank, Birmingham Science Museum. And we're here because there's a bit of a sciencey theme to Spring Watch this year on Midlands Today. And we're going to kick off with a look at wild parakeets, often seen in the black country in the Midlands. But whenever you see these birds, the question always arises, is that an escaped pet or two you're looking at? Or is there a colony of wild parakeets in the Midlands breeding, slowly increasing in number? So to find out, we turned to science and we became DNA detectives. So here we are in Sandwell, hoping to film ring-necked parakeets nesting in the wild. They are tricky to spot though on the, oh, against this yes. green foliage at this time of year, in spring, they're hard to spot. They're very, very well camouflaged, aren't they? But it's, it's the call it's the, that gives the, their position away and that's how we spotted them first now, this morning. But where have these green birds in the black country come from? Are they local escaped pets? Or have the well-established flocks in the southeast begun spreading up the M6? Well, we gathered up some local feathers and sent them for DNA testing at the University of Kent. Hello, Hazel. Hi, Dave. What have you been doing to the feathers we sent you? I've been busy chopping them up, extracting DNA from them. So where do you get the DNA from? The DNA is, um, comes solely from this very small blood spot about halfway up the feather, nowhere else. I mean, that's tiny. It's a very small amount of blood. It's a very small amount of DNA. So what have you found out about our brummy birds? OK, so the brummy birds are Indian of origin and they are very genetically similar to um, most of the birds found around Greater London. Now, does that mean they could have come from Greater London? It does mean they could have come from Greater London, yes. And it could be evidence that they're spreading around the UK. So how did they get here? There's a couple of cool um, sort of theories. One of them is that they escaped from the set of the African Queen, which is being filmed in London. And the second theory was that Jimi Hendrix released them into Carnaby Street to inject some psychedelic colour into the UK. I really like that theory, but um, theoretically, there was just a handful of uh, individuals recorded, and the population has flourished since then. It's now 32,000, um, and it's likely that that population, or these populations in the country, are being supplemented by lost and escaped birds. And hopefully I can show that with my genetic analysis. So, there are parakeets in the wild, in the black country. Uh, probably escapees from London that have spread up here, but with local escapees supplementing the population and keeping it genetically healthy. So, keep your eyes peeled, you may well see one. Now, Hazel's research doesn't just help us answer questions about our parrots in the black country. Uh, it's also going to be useful for conservationists working with very small populations of rare birds in the wild, trying to get them to increase and be as healthy as apparently these wild parakeets are. You can read more about that on my blog, where you'll also find contact details for Hazel if you find any parakeet feathers in your garden or local park. She'd love more samples from the Midlands. So that address is bbc.co.uk slash David Gregory. And with that, it's back to you in the studio. Oh, That's really fascinating. Finding Thanks, a David. Feather in your garden. Yeah, yeah, in tomorrow.